If you weren't a jockey, Dad, what would you be? I would love to be a footballer. Which team would you want to play for? Uh, for Sao Paulo in Brazil. What is your favourite thing about being a jockey? Just to be around with horses. I love it. What was it like to be champion jockey? It was a remarkable day. I was just proud of myself and the achievement I did. You're a celebrity in Brazil now, Dad. Do you like to be recognised? Yes, it's, it's nice to be recognised recognized in, in Brazil. And I don't say I'm a celebrity, but uh, I'm well known. I told you on the morning line you should be slower out of the stores. Have you learnt your lesson? Yes, I have, yeah. I think that was a good idea, what you told me. Well, me and my mum said every time you get a win, you always do time the fractions, right? Do you think you should li listen to me more often? I think so, right? I think you come with a great idea sometimes. Thank you. I want to be a jockey when I'm older. What tips can you give me, Dad? Just slow down at these tolls. That I gave you that. <laughs> do you think I'll be better than you? I think you'll be far much better than me. I think it'll be brilliant. I don't believe so. You're the best. Who would play you in a film or your life? Superman. Would you rather have a head the size of a tennis ball or the size of a watermelon? <laughs> Probably a watermelon. Why? Because when you've got a big head, you're doing well. <laughs> what would your superpower be and why? I love to get from one race meeting to the next one out of driving, so, just flying around. Well, thank you very much, Dad, and hi, Mum. <laughs>